There is a power generator which can produce 10 billion kilowatts hour of electricity every year, reducing the consumption of 3.12 million tons of standard coal. Imagine a train filled with coal stretching for about 630 miles. That's how much coal is saved by using this power generator per year. It also reduces CO2 emissions by 8.16 million tons. This is equal to planting 70 million trees. How neat is that? This is a staggering environmental impact brought by Hualong No. 1, China's third generation nuclear reactor. In 2019, I stood in this field and said this. I'm here at the Fujian nuclear power plant in Fuqing, southeast China. Behind me is the Chinese-built Hualong No. 1. Back then, I was introduced to the massive potential that the Hualong No. 1 represented. China has independently mastered third-generation nuclear technology. Third-gen reactors produce more energy than their previous designs. They can do it for much longer and they are safer. So why is China's third-generation reactor designs such a big deal? And why is it better than previous models? Well, first and second generation designs were not as sophisticated. They were more cost effective at the time and they also used nuclear fission. But third generation designs are way more efficient. The Hualong No. 1 is now fully operational, which is a staggering achievement. This energy source can provide power for one million people. But first you might be asking, how does nuclear energy work? Well, the answers are inside here. Nuclear power plants create energy through nuclear fission, which is a process of colliding neutron atoms with uranium. When they collide, they split, and this starts a chain reaction. That chain reaction creates a tremendous amount of energy. That energy is then used to heat water circulating the reactor. That water transforms into steam, which generates a turbine, and that turbine creates electricity. Unlike previous generations, third generation reactors like Hualong No. 1 have passive safety systems so the reactor can self-regulate. 5,000 tons of water is stored ready to cool the reactor in case of an emergency, which can operate without electricity. Higher thermal efficiency, meaning that a greater proportion of heat energy is effectively converted into electricity. The Hualong No. 1 has a double containment barrier to withstand the impact of a large aircraft. Third generation designs are more standardized, meaning they can be replicated and constructed for less capital. These factors contribute to lower environmental impact. The Hualong No. 1 doesn't release harmful carbon dioxide or pollutants like nitrogen and sulfur oxides into the air which for the world's second largest economy where they mainly burn fossil fuels developing alternative energy sources is highly important which is in track with China's 2060 carbon neutrality goals. In 2019 reactors 5 and 6 were still under construction and now they're fully operational. Back then my guide was Tang Hongbin and I'm going to find him so he can bring me up to speed. Hello? Tang? Oh, what a pong yo! How do you do? It's good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. So, let's sit, sit. So, Tang, what is the significance of Hualong No. 1 for China's nuclear power industry? Hualong No. 1 is the third generation of nuclear power industry. We have the third generation of nuclear power industry. We have the third generation of nuclear power industry. We have the third generation of nuclear power industry. The Hualong No. 1 is such a complex project. How has all of this been possible? Over the past 
从二零一九年到现在，现场已经变化很大了。我带你去看看吧。Tang, tell me about the challenges in constructing the Huarong 一号。Huarong 一号是我国自主研发的三代核电技术，所对工程。没有任何成熟的经验可以参考，一切都靠我们自己摸索。在建设过程中，如何把众多的部门、设备、人员统筹在一起，做一件事，这就是一个巨大的挑战。但是，我们做到了。Tell me your personal opinion on what you think the future is for nuclear energy. 我希望核能可以走得更远，为全世界提供更加清洁、经济、稳定的能源，让人类摆脱能源的。焦虑 ，Nathan， 我要走了，你去岗位了。哦、oh, ，OK， 再见，谢谢老师。<笑> Just earlier this year, Pakistan started construction of its third Hualong Number、no. One. Key components like this one is helping China become a serious player in the global nuclear market. Hualong One 号啊，在巴基斯坦呢有两台机组，每年能够为巴基斯坦。提供清洁电力有两百亿度，尤其是对于卡拉奇这个城市来说非常的重要。如果核电有一台机组要停运的话，那么卡拉奇市的很多的工矿企业可能就要停电。华龙一号，它为世界上其他国家寻找清洁能源提供了一种新的选择方案。这是我们的技术，我们要把它推向全世界，让中国技术造福全人类。But what of smaller countries and regions that need a more cost-effective and tailored solution to their needs? Today I've arrived at the Changjiang nuclear power site to see the installation of the reactor for the Linglong One. It's what's known as a small modular reactor, the world's first approved by the International Atomic Energy Agency in 2016. These reactors are much more suited to isolated regions, islands and smaller countries. The reason being they are cheaper, easy to install and they can be situated closer to densely populated areas. Thank Having a nuclear reactor on an island of this size is surprisingly eco-friendly. It can help with seawater desalination and just six kilometers away from the plant, they're in the trial phase of a scientific marine center so they can cultivate pearl oysters. 我期待着我们白蝶贝的试养殖项目能够大规模的工业化生产，来证明我们核电厂和周边环境能够和谐共生，成为一个美好的环境共同体。The Linglong One is smaller, only one-tenth the size of the Hualong Number One. Think of it as a mobile power bank for the island. Once completed, it will be able to generate one billion kilowatts hour of electricity and provide electricity needs for 526,000 households. That's the equivalent of cutting carbon dioxide emissions by 880,000 tons, and it's like planting 7.5 million trees. Thirty percent of the energy on this island comes from nuclear power and Hainan's population is approximately 10 million. That's roughly the same size of a country like Sweden or Greece.
The journey is far from over as China continues to inspire a greener tomorrow, transforming the way we generate energy and creating a brighter future for humanity.